Hey everyone, welcome into One Cent Sports Cards YouTube channel. Today I am doing another PSA reveal. This one was a May special, so I think everything was like $15.99, something like that. These cards were submitted by Patreons of mine. Uh, I submit cards for Patreons at no additional cost beyond the grading fee. If you're interested in that, just click on the link below in the video description. You can find out all about that. So without further ado, let's get into it. We got, I don't know, about 50 cards here. So we're going to start with first Patreon. That's going to be Evan. Evan, you are up. And we're going to start with a big one. The Juan Soto. This is a Tops Tier 1 from 2021 auto. It is the Prime Performers auto numbered 79 out of 125. And this one going to come in at a mint 9. So we start out with the 9 there on the Soto. Beautiful looking card. Little thick, so going to be a tough one to get as a 10. Our next one, this one's sweet. This one is going to be a Topps Tribute from 2023. It is a dual relic with Mike Trout and Shohei Otani. It is the Gold Parallel, number 25 out of 25. And this bad boy for Evan going to come in at an 8. And I apologize. It's the orange, not the gold. I thought it was the gold. Uh, but anyways, it comes in at an 8. Again, got a lot of die cuts in here. A thick card. So an 8. Not a bad grade on that. So we'll stack that 8 up here. Then we have another big one. This one going to be a 2023 Tops Tribute. Gunner Henderson Green. This one is number 38 out of 99. Make sure you can see that there. And this puppy going to come in at a mint nine. So another nine, again, a thick card. So nine, not a bad grade on that, but let's see if we can get some tens. We're going to have a Shohei Otani 2021 Tops Heritage here. This is the hot box. It's the purple one that you get uh, out of the hot boxes from Heritage. So this one coming in at a gem mint 10. So there's our first 10. That's what we're looking for. We'll see if we can start stacking more 10s up. Our next one going to be a Colton Kowser. This is a first Bowman from 2021. It is the Refractor. This one comes in at a mint 9. So we get another 9 there for Evan. Then we have, this one's going to be a tough one. Beautiful card, though, especially with the Pirates gold and black. This is a Topps black gold rookie card, O'Neill Cruz from 2022. It is the gold parallel numbered 48 out of 75. And this one comes in at a 7. Now, because of these black, uh, the black on the back, you got a little bit up here. A little bit up there, maybe a little down there. So a few of just, uh, just a little bit on these. These cards are so tough to gem up. But this one comes in at a seven. So a little bit of a mixed bag for Evan so far. He also has, you won't see many of these. This is a cool card. This is a Topps Now, um, or not Topps Now. It is the Topps Home Run Challenge, but this is the double down. So this is the double down winner. It is number two out of 26. It is an Aaron Judge Home Run Challenge winner, and it is from September, and it was the double down. So this one comes in at a near mint eight. Now I did take a look at this one. I don't know how this one came in at an eight. It does have a little bit of a ding up there, maybe down here. Again, the the Black on the back, just so tough on cards. So another eight, and we need to see more tens. So here we go, Evan. Let's see if we can get you a 10 here. We've got some basketball, 2020, a mosaic. This is a Tyrese Maxi. It is the ref, ref, uh, reactive blue. Is it numbered? If it is, I don't see the number. I don't think it is. Um, so the reactive blue, this is the his rookie card, the NBA debut. From 2020 Mosaic, that one comes in at a Gem Mint 10. So we get a little bit of a mixed bag there for Evan. And now we're going to go on to Patreon, Adam Y. So Adam, you are up. Good luck. Let's see what we can get you. We're going to start with Anthony Volpe, 2023 Tops Rookie Card. This is the Rainbow Foil. This one comes in at a Mint 9. So we stack another 9 up. And then we have 
A 2022 Tops update O'Neal Cruz. This is his rookie debut rookie card. It is the orange foil board numbered 294 out of 299. This one coming in at a gem mint 10. So there you go, Adam. Now we're starting to stack a few 10s up. We need to get more though. Now this card, interesting one, non-sports card, but it's still a sports card. 2022 Tops UK edition. This is the British Royal family. This is Anne. I have no idea. She is a princess royal. I didn't know Anne existed, but here we go. Anne, Anne gets a gem mint 10. So Adam with another 10. Now he's got a Colton Kowser. This is the gold foil. A little bit of a hair on there. There we go. This is a gold foil. 2024 Tops. You can only get these in the jumbo boxes. Colton Kowser rookie card. That one coming in at a gem mint 10 as well. So our 10s finally catch up to the 9s. Then we have Julio. This one also 2022 Tops UK edition. This is the Julio Rodriguez, the Big Ben, numbered... 18 out of 9, so a 9 to 99 Julio Rodriguez just got injured uh, or went on the IL. So this one comes in at another 10. So we get another 10 for Adam. Adam doing pretty well. Then we have a CJ Abrams. This is the gold 2022 tops update. So it'll be numbered out of 2022. It is numbered 306 out of 2022. And this card coming in. Add a gem mint 10. So Adam stacking tens. Our tens are starting to build up here, which is what we like to see. Now we have a James Wood from 2022 Bowman Mega Box. This is his first Bowman. This one's going to come in at a near mint seven. Now, this one, when you take a look at it, I mean, pretty centered, maybe a little bit heavy on the top. The back looks okay. I have no idea why this got a seven. This has to have a surface issue or something. That corner right there, maybe a little bit, but it gets a seven. So again, uh, getting into this mixed bag, greater being fair, maybe a little tough. All right, our last one for Adam, going to be a 2023 Bowman, Luis Lara Chrome Prospects. This is the, what is it? The Fuchsia, numbered 163 out of 199. This one's going to come in. At a gem mint 10. So overall, not bad for Adam. I think he got one nine, one seven, and the rest were tens. Our next one gonna be Mr. Brett Cube. So Brett, you are up. Let's do it. We have the Noel V. Marte from 2024 Tops. This is the baseball stars autograph. It is the black parallel, so it's numbered 11 out of 99. And this puppy gonna come in at a gem mint 10. So we get a 10 for Brett to start. So our 10s are kind of doubled up on the 9s. But if we take the ones that are lower than 9s, we're about even right now. So about a 50% gem rate. Now we have an Evan Carter blue, royal blue. These are the ones that you would have got out of the... Uh, what are we What are we asking for? These are the ones you would have got out of blaster boxes, retail stuff. So this is the Royal Blue Evan Carter from 2024 Tops. This one coming in at a mint 9. All right, now we have another Colton Kowser. Colton Kowser, someone that shows up a lot in this submission. So, Brett, let's see what we get. This is the yellow. This is one that I believe you would have got from, is it Meyer? I believe it's Meyer. So the yellow parallel, again, not numbered, another retail exclusive. And I think it's ex exclusive to Meyer or like CVS or something like that. But really cool looking card. Love the yellow. Colton Kowser rookie gets a gem mint 10 too. So that's a beautiful looking 10 right there. Congrats on that one, Brett. All right. Then we have Mr. Anthony Volpe. 2020 Bowman Chrome. This is going to be his base first Bowman. The Volpe comes in. At a gem mint 10. So Brett stacking tens. Then we go back in the time machine here a little bit. We get a Don Mattingly 1984 Fleer. This is the Don Mattingly rookie card. A lot of people think he should be in the Hall of Fame. He's not. This one coming in at a near mint 8. So an 8 on the Mattingly Fleer. And then he's also got the Mattingly 84 tops. So this Mattingly going to come in 
at an EX mid, uh, 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 EX6. So this one, obviously the centering a little on the top, probably got a, some rough edges, you know, been around for 40 years. So a six, not bad. The centering on the back, a little off, but a six on the Mattingly 84 tops. And then he's got Jeta, 2010 tops chrome, Derek Jeter X Fractor. This one, I don't think it's numbered. Yeah, no, it's not numbered. Uh, so 2010 X Fractor Derek Jeter from Topps Chrome comes in at an eight. So we get an eight there. So we actually have a kind of stack of too many eight, you know, lower than nines. So again, a mixed bag. Now, one of my favorite cards, this one. What is that on the, that is, do you see that? Is that like on the card? It's not on the, it's weird because it's not, on, it's like in the slab, but not on the card. So kind of interesting there. Let's see what this card grades out at. Cause we also have another little white. It's almost like there's dust inside the slab. I don't know, but anyways, Mike Trout, 2011 Bowman. This is the draft. So this was actually like his second rookie card because they did have one in Bowman Chrome. So this is the draft version. And this one comes in at a mint nine. So we get a nine on the trout. Love that card. Kind of interesting. I don't know what's in that slab. All right, so there you go, Brett. Thanks for letting me submit on your behalf. If you're interested in having me submit on your behalf, become a Patreon, link in the description below. Now we go to Captain John. So John, here we go. We're gonna start with a Ronald Acuna Jr. rookie card. This is from, I believe it's the throwback, 2018 throwback Thursday, Ronald Acuna Jr. This one comes in at a 10. Can't wait to see him back on the field. Baseball's better when he's on it. So we get a 10 for the captain. Then we have the Juan Soto. Now this one looks like the throwback Thursday, but it's not. This is from Topps Archive. This is the base Juan Soto rookie. This one comes in at a mint nine. So one of my favorite Juan Soto rookies, the archives one, a sweet one. So that one comes in at a nine. Then we have more, more captain for the captain, Derek Jeta. This is his rookie from 1993 Pinnacle. This one comes in tough, one to get as a 10. Comes in at a mint nine, not bad, because these are all black. I mean, this one looks really clean. It's gotta be, it's like that corner. Other than that, I mean, this thing is perfect looking. Very nice present, uh, uh, presentation on the nine. So we get a nine on the Jeter. All right, now we go to Mookie Betts. 2015 tops Mookie Betts. This is the gold future star. So second year card here. This one numbered 1748 out of 2015. This one coming in at a near mint eight. Again, just a little bit of white on some of these corners gets us an eight. So as you can see, a little bit of a mixed bag. We need more of these. Let's go captain with a big one right here. This one going to be an Ozzy Albies. Beautiful looking card right here. This is going to be the blue refractor from 2018 Topps Chrome Ozzy Albies rookie on card auto. It is numbered I knew I was missing something. 148 out of 150. The Ozzy Albies auto comes in at a mint nine. So we get another nine. So that's captain submission. And now we go to Brian K. Brian, you are up. Good luck. Let's see if we can get some tens for you. We're going to start with, I mean, this slab is heavy. A Shohei Otani. This one with a 2018 Topps Museum Collection, Shohei Otani rookie card. This one comes in at an EX6. Now, two things on this. There's like a smudge or something. These slabs, I tell you, PSA lately has not done a great job on, like we have that one, the trout that has like the thing in it. This one's got like a little bit of a, I think it's a smudge. I think it'll rub out, but still, I don't know if you guys can see that. All right, but anyways, this gets an EX6, and when you look at it, that is a really tough grade on the 6. I get that it's got some white. I get that it's not a 10. It's centered. 
I, this is this is a tough grade on this card. Brian, I would have wished for better for you, but that one gets a six. Brian's got more Shohei's, though, so let's see if we can improve. This one's going to be a 2019 Tops Shohei Otani Rainbow Foil second year card for Shohei. This one comes in at a Gem Mint 10. So there we go, back on the 10 bandwagon. We need to see more 10s. We're now going to go to the Shohei Otani 2022 Don Russ. And this one comes in at a near mint nine. Uh, again, kind of a tough grade on that one. So we get another nine. So Brian, let's get you. Let's get you a ten. I need to see more tens. Here we go. 2018 Topps Chrome. This is the International Affair. This is actually a rookie card for Shohei Otani. This one comes in at a gem mint ten. So we get the ten there. And we got more Shohei. This is going to be a 2018 rookie card, Shohei Otani Panini Chronicles. And this one comes in at a gem in 10. So there we go, rookie card, Shohei Otani from Chronicles in a 10. And then we have 2023 Tops Finest Shohei Otani Headliners. This one going to come in as a gem mint 10 as well. So we get a few 10s, like to see that. And then we have the ever infamous F face card. Uh oh, Billy Ripken, 1989 Fleer, the FF Air, clean looking one right here. This one's gonna come in at a mint nine. So not a bad one on that. Take the mint nine on the Billy Ripken all day. And then Brian has one more card here. It is the High Five Futures Marcelo Mayer Gold from Bowman Mega Box. This is numbered 11 out of 50. The Marcelo Mayer coming in at a near mint 7. So just all over the board. I mean, you look at this card. Corners look good. Again, there could be surface. It's but when you look, I mean, not a 10 because it is top heavy, but a nine, like you look at the corners, a seven is ridiculous. Keep in mind, if I show you a Michael Jordan eight, you tell me which card looks cleaner. This one is apparently higher graded. There's a little bit of, there's a little bit of edge wear on the Jordan. I mean, I get the Jordan looks clean, but how is this a seven if this is an eight? It's, I mean, centering, just tough. Just tough, tough grader on this one. All right, so now we go to Mr. Tyler C. Tyler, here we go. Tyler's got, I think, just two Michael Harris cards. We're gonna start with the Michael Harris Refractor from 2021 Bowman Draft. This one's gonna come in at an near mint eight. So look at this. We are like eights, nines. I mean, tough grading. Here we go. Michael Harris, pink rookie card from 2023 Tops Chrome. The pink going to come in as a mint nine. So we stack another nine. Our gem rate is really low on this. I would probably put it at about 35%. All right, so let's see if I can do any better. I got a few that I submitted for myself. One for my daughter. That's going to be this first one. It's your favorite soccer player. It's Sophia Smith, the star status from 2023 Don Russ. She wanted to grade a card. She said, I want Sophia Smith graded. So let's see what the Sophia Smith comes in at. It comes in at a mint nine. So we stack another nine. Then we have, I actually bought this one on eBay. Um, and Alec Bohm, this is actually for my son. We were going through, I forget why I bought this for him. I think he won a bet. <laughs> then, I, then I had to buy him something. 2021 Alan Ginter, he's been collecting Alec Bohm for a few years. This is the mini Brooklyn back. It is actually numbered 15 out of 25, so it's his mini rookie card. This one comes in at a gem mint 10. So getting this one on eBay, Alec Bohm, Made his first all-star game this year. 
actually having a really good season. Now, if you go back a couple years when I won a few packs of 19. 86 Fleer basketball. I decided on the special that I could get these graded kind of cheap. Was hoping to get some eights and nines out of these. So here we go. This is, I got all these for free at the National a few years back. This is the Herb Williams. The Herb Williams comes in at a near mint eight, which is kind of what I expected on these. They're going to be tough to get nines and tens, but if you can get nines and tens because it's 86 Fleer, man, they are worth money. Now we have the Gus Williams, the Gus Williams 1986 Fleer. This one comes in at a near mint eight as well. So we stack more eights. Let's see what else we can get. All right. Abimelech Ortiz, this is going to be 2024 Bowman. This is his first Bowman. It is the Speckle Refractor. It is numbered 157 out of 299. The Ortiz coming in at a gem mint 10. So I'll take that one. Always nice to get first Bowman's in of 10. Now I just need him to make the majors and become some major star, and then that card's worth money. All right, Aiden Miller, a first round draft pick for the Phillies. They have a lot of high hopes for him. This is his auto, first Bowman from 2024 Bowman. This one comes in at a mint nine, so I'm not having any much better luck than the rest of the Patreons on this submission. Now we have a Dylan Cruz, first Bowman. This is going to be the mini diamond parallel. It is not autographed, but it is Dylan Cruz tearing up the minors second overall pick. This one comes in. I'll take that as a gem mint 10. So we stack another 10 there. Then we have for the Brewers, a Cooper Pratt. This is good. It's the, uh, what's this called? The Aqua Lunar 23 out of 125 from 2024 Bowman. The Cooper Pratt comes in at a gem mint 10. So another 10 there. I'll take it. And our final one of the submission. If you haven't done so already, throw over to first, hit that like button, helps the channel. Here we go. We have a Lunar Glow Kyle Teal, first round draft pick for the Red Sox. This is the Lunar, it is not numbered, it's the Lunar Glow. This one comes in at a Gem Mint 10 as well. So we end with a few 10s at least, but the Gem Rate on this probably sitting, if these are 10s, these are 9s and everything else, this, I don't know, what do you, uh, maybe 35 to 40 percent somewhere around there so tough grader on this one but i do want to thank all the patrons for letting me submit cards on their behalf if you haven't done so already throw over to first hit that like button let me know what you think about the submission in the comments below i love to respond back to the comments that are worth responding to and with that guys thank you for watching and as always be good to your family be good to your friends be good to your neighbors and most importantly take care of yourselves guys take care